Hi, I'm Scott Kay, and I'm road tripping across my home state of Iowa, talking to growers about dicamba. Today I'm in Clemens Grove, Iowa, meeting with Kent Johnson and his family. Good to meet you, Scott. Hey, thanks for having me here. Absolutely. Glad you're here. So, Kent, thanks for having me here. Beautiful view here behind us. Thank you. So on this farm, you, you plant corn and beans? So you, we plant corn and soybeans. How many acres? Owned, rented, and custom farmed. We have about 5,500 acres. Okay. Is water hemp your worst problem that you have for weeds? I would say that it's right up there with one of our worst. So what do you do in your farm to, to try and control it? What, do you, um, what strategies are you using? Well, number one's no tilling to not move soil around. Okay. Um, so whatever that seed bank is, you know, it kind of stays put. Okay. Um, Another thing we do is is we're uh, very strong on anything for uh, pre-emergence herbicides. Okay. I mean anything, uh, uh, different modes of action. Yeah. So if we can get two or three modes down there early, come back on a post application with a couple different modes okay. to you know use everything we can in our arsenal. I really like our ability to use dicamba and beans. I grew up as a kid, you know, using uh, dicamba and 2,4-D on corn and saw the benefits there, yeah. and um, I can't believe how less volatile things are today with the new chemistries of dicamba. Like in Gene, yeah, from Exactly, from oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In all the time we've been using dicamba products, we have had uh, no issues with neighbors, no issues with our own crops. Um, even where we have uh, our own crop adjacent to a dicamba crop, we've never hurt ourselves. Um, we've, we've always had great success. Let me ask you, what if what if that dicamba trait went away? Would it hurt your yield? I think it would. It's been a product that we have used for years with great success and if it went away it would leave a pretty big hole. Bang for the buck, the dicamba to me is still my best program. I can get the largest amount of, of kill factor on weeds um, for the money as, a, as compared to any of the other programs I look at. Why is it important for farmers to keep all the various tools or options in their toolbox? We don't want to build a resistance, so we need not only a dicamba product, but we need a Liberty product, a Roundup product, a name your other products to stay diversified. It's no different than when I'm working on a piece of equipment. If you take one of my tools away, I'm going to have one hand tied behind my back. We live here. We're treating the ground that we live on. I'm trying to make sure that no matter what we do, we are building rather than depleting. Everything I do, I try to leave it better than I found it.